okay in this video i'm going to show you how to actually deal with the sql server authentication okay usually you have two types of the authentication by default actually the microsoft sql server whenever you are using it it is it uses a bindu authentication actually and it has more security that will actually be it is provided to you with the for the sql server now suppose you have the authentication and if you wanted to change it to the mixed one there one is a simple is sim the original by default is window window authentication and the other one is the mixed authentication okay let's go and check it out okay now let's start your server instance okay right click on the server instance and select properties here we are as you can see it shows you the journal actually what's the name of the server and other things i am not going to go into details okay here it is the memory okay i am going to directly go to the security page right now okay going directly to the point okay here is the authentication it shows server authentication mode okay now what happens is by default is when the authentication mode is active okay this is why it actually the provides you higher security but the problem is that in the case if you are using the other users from from the linux or unix or whatever that is to get connected to the your sql server then this doesn't allow you to get connected to the microsoft sql server then you will have to actually go to the sql server and with the window authentication mode and actually it is known as mixed okay so suppose if i wanted to check it here okay i go and change it here okay and i say okay what happens it will ask you to restart okay just hold on there it is it says you will have to restart the server okay the restart of server is needed okay so far so good now because i have changed it to the sql server when the authentication mode by default there is a user known as system administrator that is comes to the sa okay you can go and change the password for that thing if you want you can rename the user also but i will show you how to change the password and actually i will show you how to enable that by default it is it may be disabled okay so just say okay before actually restarting the server let's go to the security okay then there is a login then there is a user that is sa okay now right click on the sa you login and this is the stand for sa stand for system administrator go and click to the pro properties now there it is the login name is uh, sa okay the password actually i can change it here okay now suppose if i wanted to change some other password i can actually change the password here okay now i can change the default database of the sa that is system administrator if i wanted to i will leave it as it is next we'll go to the server role okay by default the sa has a system admin as a server role which is the one of the most powerful server role you the sys admin can do anything whatever required okay. then let's go to user mapping okay here it is you can see you can select a lot of you can map it to the databases okay i, I by default it has a map to the master model msdb data system databases and temp db okay and i can actually select other databases as well as if i wanted to select it here right now i will leave it as it is okay now this is the most the most important thing is the status now you have to select it first to grant okay and you have also to select enable usually this would be disabled okay you have to enable it and then you have to say grant okay and click okay 
and we have enabled the system administrator for the mixed authentication mode now the second thing now that we have actually changed the authentication mode i have actually re actually added this what do you call i have activated the system administrator sa login okay now the thing is that i have to go and restart the server so let's go to the sql server configuration as you can see from here in sql server configuration when you go to the sql server click the sql servers you can see lot of services are running okay actually you can see the sql server integration services actually this is not running here otherwise the full text filter and sql server this is analysis server okay this is sql reporting services that's also of sql server browser sql server agent okay now i have to go and restart it so i right click the sql server and say go to the restart otherwise the mix authentication mode won't be get act activated and the sa would won't be able to log in so as you can see it is actually running it will stop the serv service and then it will restart it again now is restarting the service and there we are done as you can see the server has been restarted automatically uh, restarted sorry not by automatically we have restarted the server and now we can actually log in as a system administrator as well okay let's actually go back to our this thing database now you can see that the sql server agent has been disabled okay now what you can do you can go back to the sql server configuration manager and restart the sql server agent but in the case it doesn't work from here suppose if it, do it doesn't work from here so what the other option is you can go to the service from the windows okay go to the administrator select services and go to the sql server agent there okay and go and select a restart from here and it should restart your sql server agent in the case if your sql server configuration manager doesn't actually allow you to start the sql server agent service okay as you are running and this will get actually started again usually it actually sometimes create a problem from the sql server configuration manager but it runs from the services very well so in the case anything that doesn't run from the sql server configuration manager you can always go and run try to run it from the services okay okay let's refresh and see it okay let's refresh this thing and i hope so the sql server agent is running here we are we can see that the sql now as you can see let's go and connect it as a system administrator because okay first let me go and check it change the authentication mode to the sql server authentication mode okay let's actually type the word password and say connect and here we are okay i have got connected to the to the sa let us system administrator login and there i am in actually using both the authentication window authentication as well as the sql server authentication this is how it is done okay i will just end it here thanks for watching